Welcome back everyone to the Cat's Meowth and another Once Wednesday. So we haven't had any luck with some of the ultra rares I've been trying to replace, so I thought maybe we'd try something a little easier, hopefully. Uh, instead of an ultra rare, we're just going to go with a hollow. Now this is a unlimited edition, so no first edition stamp needed, copy of the Gym Challenge Rocket's Meowth. Uh, this is hollow, I don't believe there is a non-hollow, and um, I love that it has three attacks, one of the few cards that uh, has more than just one or two. And while this doesn't look like it's very bad, um, it's got some, uh, some general just surface wear, and most notably we have this nice crease right there in the corner. Um, significant edge wear, especially on that corner. So I would love to be able to get a mint one to replace it. Now this hollow is uh, still not the easiest to find. It's running for about, I think, $10 or so, maybe around the 12 mark. So that's probably where I'm going to value it. And now we'll take a look at, uh, again, just update my ultra rare binder. Um, and I'll have prices in the description below so that we can kind of compare them. Uh, this is probably one of the few times where I will be willing to break my rule on trading uh, non-ultra uh, rares, i.e. this hollow, uh, for my ultra rares. Since this is a fairly valuable card, um, I think it only fair that I give up some valuable cards for it. So hopefully we can get lucky and find someone that has a uh, mint, uh, or at least even near mint, mint um, copy of this card, and we can work out a trade. And on to the Ultra Rare Binder. I've already updated the trainers, supporters, stadiums, um, I think codes, and all of the rare reverses, hollows, and all that stuff in videos last week. So if you are interested in any of that stuff, um, those videos should be relatively updated. So uh, this should pretty much look the same as last week. We've moved around a few different things. Um, we've had a lot of awesome generations pull, so we had to make some room. Uh, the gold Groudon is now on the front page. The only thing that is just not up for trade and is only for sale or to trade, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, let, let me rephrase that. The only thing that is for sale only are these three Rayquaza at the bottom that I'm trying to help a friend out with. Uh, these are his cards, $4 each, so $12 total. Um, could probably fit all of them in a regular envelope for a dollar shipping, but uh, safe, uh, safer to go with the bubble mailer and tracker tracking for three. Uh, uh, conditions are described below. If they're not near Mint Mint, that is a Dragonite. These two are sealed, and the Charizard is a reverse and does have some damage to it. Um, the Chiram there is Korean. And on to all the glorious full arts. So the Japanese uh, are these three down at the bottom, the Gold Mewtwo, Glalie, and Florges. Everything else is in English, and again, anything that is not mint is listed as damage below. Um, I believe for the full arts, the damage is very, very minor. Um, in fact, the only card that has significant damage is one of the older EXs that we will show off later on. And again, prices are listed in the description below, so you can get an idea of matching up value you for that, that Rockets Mewtwo if that's the trade that you're looking at. Uh, full Arts continuing on this page and then going, uh, starting off with Generations. Uh, Fates Collide, a couple of breaks, uh, Break Point, and then Break Through. Ancient Origins, Primal Clash, and Furious Fist, all sorted by set now. A couple Phantom Forces, and then these are all promo EXs. And then starting with the Shamans, we have the Legendary Treasures Collection and the Expanded Ultra Rares. So lots of Legendary Collections still, although we're finally getting it down from like five pages down to just under three. And then some other cards from the Plasma Sets, Dark Explorers, and Boundaries Crossed. And then starting with the Dark Rye and moving across, we have all sorts of promos. That Tornadus is the uh, Legendary Treasures promo, and it is staff stamped as well. Some A specs, some older cards, and I've shown the Moltres off in more uh, detail as it, it, it does have a significant amount of damage, even though, as you can tell, it looks beautiful when it's in a binder and a sleeve. Uh, Cresselia, some, these are all promos, and then the Sharon's Choices are from Rising Rivals. A few Primes, and then various tournament promos. All of these are staff stamped. And then all of these promos are non-staff stamped. 
few unique cards down at the bottom, a first edition DCE, a Ampharos that got caught in the crimping process, and so it um, has the pat crimp right across the top, and a, I believe it is German Hariyama, and that is a rare. Now we get into the Japanese cards, a specs on this page, um, and carrying over to that uh, gold uh, potion. And then they're sorted by set, starting with the earliest black and white sets. And I've also listed them in the description below in the order that you see them. So um, I, I always forget which uh, the names of the Japanese sets corresponding to which black and white set. So the description should help you point that out um, in the rare cases that there are different versions of a card like Mewtwo from this set versus Mewtwo from that set. I do remember though that this one is Rage of the Broken Heavens. And then the Japanese Fates Collide. Um, uh, Awakening Spirit King. A uh, few promos, uh, except for the Shaman, that is an unlimited copy of the Shaman EX. Uh, the rest are promos. And then since the binder that I used to uh, hold these in sold, um, these are being moved to this binder instead. All of my hollow energy. And we have a few generations to add to it, the Fire and the Psychic. And then we still have a few of the Target promo Magikarps. All of them are sealed. So I hope we're able to work out a trade for the Rockets Mewtwo. There's plenty of other cards, though, listed on the Cat's Meowth that I'm still looking to trade for. Lots of old stuff that I'm looking um, to get in near mint mint condition uh, to replace the ones in my collection. Lots of ultra rares, even some reverses. Um, a few things left from Generations, although uh, I believe those are still fairly low reverses. Although some of the hollow energy, I might be willing to um, work out something from this binder with. So I hope we have some better luck this week. Stay tuned. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to attempt to reinstate the Feature Friday series and then we have something, uh, something a little different coming up very soon too that I hope to share. So, oh, and we also have the opening of the Blastoise Generations box coming up this weekend. So I hope everyone will stay tuned and continue to watch and trade.